prophetic voices are changing and affecting America every day, and, and the challenge is, will we listen to them? With us today, we've got the privilege of having Apostle Jane Hammond. She is part of Vision Church, and uh, we are blessed to have her. And uh, Jane, I understand that God has given you, uh, as he does every year, I guess, a powerful word for the nation, but specifically a word for Pittsburgh. And I know that you're you're waiting at a conference to share that word, but could you give us a sneak peek of well, what God's sharing with you? It's a, it's a real privilege to be here with you. Um, the the exciting thing is that the name of this conference that that we're in is it indicates God's glory, and I believe that we're coming into a time when we're going to begin to really understand God's glory as never before. And really part of the word that I have for our nation, as well as for this, this Pittsburgh area, this greater Pittsburgh area, has to do with Isaiah chapter 60, where it says, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Now that's very exciting um, to me. But then we have verse 2, which says, For darkness will cover the earth, and deep darkness will cover the people. But the Lord will rise on you, and His glory will be seen on you. And I believe that we're really entering into these days where the darkness is going to get darker, but the glory of God is going to begin to rise and shine as never before. I believe God has His hand on the Pittsburgh area. I think that darkness has had its day. Is the church responsible for causing this glory to come, or is it just something God is doing? I believe that the church has a, has a major responsibility to work with God. I believe that anytime God wants to move in the earth, God can just do it. But I believe that as we study the scripture, we always understand that God is always looking for a man. It actually says in Ezekiel, it says, God, look for a man among them to stand in the gap and make up the hedge. And I believe that God is looking for people in this greater Pittsburgh area who are not going to be just tethered to the past, who are not just going to be focused on what God did 20 years ago or 30 years ago. But I I believe that this is a territory and one of the areas that in the nation that God has really marked for an, a fresh outpouring of His Holy Spirit and being one of the, the places that God's going to bring one of the great, the new outpourings of great awakening. Amen. That's, that's a powerful word. Why, why do you think Pittsburgh? I think because Pittsburgh has had to contend with darkness so much. I think that there's been, um, uh, there's been, I think, corruption. I don't, I don't really know Pittsburgh, but just spiritually, I, I feel like that there's been corruption. There's been uh, a, a depressive spirit of heaviness that tries to sit over this area. I think that the enemy has come in and tried to really lay claim to this territory. And I'm, and, and I'm always excited when I kind of see those things at work because those are the very areas that God likes to come in and invade darkness with His light. And I believe that there's been, that there's been a lot of seed beds that have been sown over the last 20, 30 years over this area of people that are hungry to see God do more, that don't want to get stuck in the past but are hungry to see God do more. What can we do to prepare? I think that the people of the, of the area I think they, they have to be able to tune their ear in to hear what God is saying to them individually. I believe that there's a personal prophetic responsibility for each individual to hear what God is saying to them. I believe that leaders have to embrace uh, reformation. And reformation, unfortunately for most people, they don't understand that reformation means change. And everybody says, oh, we love change when it happens to somebody else. Until, <laughs> until the change happens. Until, until God says, right. okay, now it's time to change. And I believe that this is going to be one of those areas that God's going to begin to move because I believe that there's uh, uh, leaders in this region that are so hungry for more of God that they're willing to lead their people forward. And I believe that the church, the people are responding. I believe that this is not just a day of church leaders, of pastors and elders, but I believe that this is a, a day when God is raising up believers from all different kinds of church backgrounds that are coming together during this season of time to say, God, pour yourself out in our area. Amen. Well, I appreciate you being here and sharing that word, and, and I hope that it's an encouraging, I know it's an encouraging word for you, and that you can expect God to begin to do great things. So be praying, be ready for change, and get ready for your part of what God is going to do in your church and in your area.